We get a massive update for the 1.2% tax burn on every transaction. This is a huge step in the right direction. We're so close here for the implementation. And just because this, we're going to see mass amounts of coin burns happening here to Terra Classic. I'm super excited because of this. So let's go and check out what's been happening here to Terra Luna Classic. So first thing first, here we are on CoinMarketCap, right on the market cap here for Terra Classic is at $390 million. The volume here did go down by 30%. And we had 79 nine million dollars here for the volume the price of one single token we did reach basically 0.0006 but it looks like now some people just a little bit selling off but it's still pretty much okay because we're still at that level here so the market is kind of trying to bounce right now we're trying to stabilize to find a price floor between like twenty thousand twenty one thousand dollars for bitcoin so because that is a chance here the terrible also stabilize and maybe even continue here to go up with bitcoin all depends on what's going to happen to bitcoin the next couple days but let's go we have a lot of things we need to talk about so first thing first we have this very important post here on luna classic labs so saying here prop 3568 and 4095 uh, update so vital information so please yeah read through this so we can check it out so basically this is what happened so somebody asked here hello so yesterday I was speaking with Ed and the code all seemed good just last test to make it happen will be nice if we can make the pool to implement okay uh, the release we build will contain both 3568 so that's the 1.2 uh, burn tax and 4, uh, 4095 delegation and delayed val validator registration changes. Is that what you were asking? Now, continue here and saying yes, thank you for clarifying this. Okay, now you continue here. So, yes, it will only be necessary to hold the blockchain uh, once for the installation. So, there you go. This is what they're doing here. So, they're going to update basically like they're updating the blockchain. So, most of the other uh, basically, the apps have to update and do the same thing. And then on that new update, we're going to have the 1.2% burn. So we're getting closer and closer to seeing the real burn, the implementation of that burn happening here. Then all the DApps have to enable that update and then massive things can change here for Terra the class because that could mean that we're going to burn a lot more than ever before. So this is what we are waiting for. This is what's been happening here. So even though it does maybe seem like not too many big things are happening here to Terra Luna, but instead there's a lot of people who are working behind the scenes to actually implement the things that we've been talking about. So once they implement it, then we have the next step. What is the next step? The next step is basically we need exchanges to change their code, to accept the 1.2% burn. So if they do accept that, everything will change because then all of the volume here, the 79, let's say $80 million in the volume will be used to burn Terra Classic, which is absolutely insane. Awesome number. That means we're going to have like an 8 million uh, burn every single day. That's just a huge number here. And just because that we have a lot of potential, just a lot of potential. Imagine burning every single day, like $8 million in uh, Terra Classic because that's the volume we have right now. Of course, we're not gonna burn all the 80 million because of the exchanges. So we're gonna need these exchanges here. We have here Binance, FTX, KuCoin, Get.io, Hobby Global, uh, Bybit. We got BitThumb. So a lot of them here. Everything is going through BitThumb. So that's that's interesting. Okay. Okay, that's super interesting. These exchanges need to enable the burns. So right now, the biggest exchange that has the the like, biggest volume is Bitcoin, but Binance is right next to it. So let's say $26 million here for Binance, basically. That means that if Binance enables the tax, we're going to see a burn of basically $2.5 million every single day because the volume. All depends. If the volume is bigger, then the burn is going to be bigger. If the, if the volume is lower, then it's going to be lower. That's how things work. So the bigger the volume, the more we burn, the more we burn, the more... Uh, the coins are going to be worth so much more. That's how things actually work. So that's what could happen here. Now, the question is, will Binance accept that? Will Binance actually do it? I believe they will do it because there was a post a couple of weeks ago where CZ did say that they're going to do everything they can to help the terrible community, the people who lost everything. So they have a responsibility to their customers to actually do it. So what I think is going to happen is that once the burn is implemented, then I believe the community will go to 
like spam basically CZ go to Binance go to Binance support and just tell them about the 1.2% tax burn and because of that I do believe that they will accept it and if Binance accepts something like that I believe that's the trigger for the rest of the exchanges to accept the exact same thing so I do believe that the, the rest of the exchanges will accept that slowly because of Binance so that's gonna be the main trigger so because of that, like I said, there's a massive possibility that all, all like a lot of these big exchanges will enable the 1.2 tax burn. So that's that's how we win. That's how we win in the long term. It's not something that's gonna happen like like I said in a day or two, but it's something that's gonna be helping us in the long term to slowly burn the coins. So Binance, of course, is not gonna burn their own coins here, but uh, they are probably gonna help the community here because they have an incentive They want to help the community because they even hold Terra Classic So they have a lot of Terra Classic here. So basically those coins are dead to them. So If they implement the 1.2% burn and if the community is happy then because of that Binance can later on use their coins if they do want so if the price Terra Classic here does continue to go up in the future so it's a win-win situation here for Binance and because that it's it's a really good idea it's just a good thing that they can do to help the community plus help themselves because if the price of Terra Classic goes up then their tokens the, the tokens that they have are also going to go up that's it that's how it's going to work here we also have this page called Luna Classic so Luna Classic HQ so we have here the latest update saying here re-enable re staking delegation to exist active later said only so we're going to pass the quorum soon let's hope it works for the next challenge uh ends in two days so yeah, the quorum pretty close here so we're gonna see if this one is going to pass if this one is going to be approved some pretty interesting things here we have this post here saying a luna classic scheme for tax and burn so this is how things could work so economic level option one so complex cbm should uh, differentiate uh, tax rates to buy sell uh, transactions and call and calls to dapp option two a complex dbm should uh, include features to force uh, exchanges to introduce tax on exchanges so all trading tax so basically that that's how you win the most option four was option three here okay option four a uh, complex tbm should include features to change relevant values according to economic situation technical level derived from economics so taxation smart contract to change parameters within with multi-sign not hard coding Taxation protocol to impose taxation during on-chain transactions and three different ta taxation rates. So key base rate and two rates uh, derived from it. So this is how it could work. So base rate could be 1.2%. So base tax rate for all coins and tokens on-chain uh, transactions. And we have low rates. So 0.4%. So base rate uh, slash three. So tax for dApps. If such option is enabled, tax for cold wallets of exchanges which will launch exchange-based trading taxation. And high rate, we have 3.6% base rate times three, so tax for cold wallets for, uh, for the exchanges, which will ignore requests to impose off-chain taxation of trading operations. I don't think that's a good idea. I think the best we can do is well, like just do the base rate of 1.2%, that, that, because that is a big number here, and that it could help. It just absolutely could help us burn a lot more than we are burning right now. So I think that's the solution here for the problem. Not really taxing everything you can, like every single transaction, because it's just it's just stupid to see if you just transfer to like from tax for cold wallets and exchanges. That's a stupid a stupid reason to do it. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see what's gonna happen here. There's still a lot of chances. If we go to the chart, we can see here Bitcoin, like I said, twenty-one thousand dollars. Super interesting. We were at, like I said, 17,600, 17, and as you can see here, we bounced off, and now we're trying to stabilize here. All the pin what's going to happen next couple of days, but I still do believe that this is not the bottom, because there's a lot of chances that the whole market will continue to go down, because I don't believe the good things are going to happen in the world right now. I think that bad things are going to continue to happen in the long run, and because of that, I do believe that we're gonna make new lows we're gonna see what's gonna happen but i still do believe that we are going to continue to go down exact same thing here for terra luna classic if bitcoin continues to go down then you betcha that terra luna classic will also go down with bitcoin and i do believe that we're gonna make some new lows even here for terra classic because we're in a bear market 
that's the biggest reason we are in a bear market so because we're in a bear market we cannot expect terminal classic to reach like like i said one cent at least like i said not in the short term once we do make the reversal once bitcoin makes the reversal also once we enter the bull run then it's another story but that's the question Will people be patient enough to actually wait? Will they wait? That's the biggest question. Will they wait for uh, Terminal Classic to become a bigger coin? Like I said, there's a development team who is implementing some new things. We're gonna need uh, people who are going to make dApps. So once we make some, once we get some developers, if people want to do it, then like I said, chances are that Luna can make reversal and can reach some bigger numbers, but not yet. Like I said, it's not gonna happen soon, guys. It's going to be a long-term thing. You have to understand that. That's the biggest difference. People are thinking like, yeah, we're gonna do it tomorrow. We're gonna do it in like 20 days. That's not gonna happen. We have to, uh, we're still in this recession, let's say. And it's gonna be a long recession here because everything is still up. Everything is still, the prices are still too high. Nothing is getting fixed yet. And because that, it's going to be a long-term thing. So, a lot of things can happen here to Bitcoin and crypto. But patience is key right now. Patience is absolutely key right now. And I do believe that this is not over. The bear market is still a long way for it to be over. So, this is not the final dip. At least that's what I think. That This is not the final dip. But we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen here in the future so yeah guys that's gonna be it here for this video hope you did enjoy it if you didn't mean search me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel don't forget guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video